Today is August 26, 2013. It is 5.58. I have to admit today my stepdad put a little stress on me. And so now I'm forcing some things, I guess, what would I like to say? God, find me a person who would like me to move in with him. Someone will allow me to come in, know, knowing about my circumstances, and help me to work out things. I know that there are some things that can't not be said until the time that I really can discuss. But right now, I gotta get out. I need a new roommate, a new place to live. I just would like someone to be willing to help me out. Someone that be more like Christ-like. That God will ease his mind. Right now, there's a person in Germany I've been talking to who's interested in bikes. And I don't have no feeling for no love or anything else. I'm going to open up and share Christian songs. And I'm pointing and saying, I don't know who to ask. And I'm pointing and feeling like begging. Begging you to move down here. I don't know how much money you make. I don't know anything possible. But I asking you, it's not just that. I feel like God's asking is, I don't know who else to ask. And I don't know how you feel about me. And I, I have open a little bit of discussion of some things. And I don't, I don't know what she's planted. I'm forced to do this. And I'm also like saying, be my payee. Help me. I don't feel like Star Wars and the robot showing, help me go with Toby. And I'm saying this person, I don't really know a friend in that case. I don't even know he loves me. I, I don't know if Belgium and money can move down here. I don't know if he can stay in the United States. Sometimes in your life, you, you, you need him in a temporary status to get your life back together. And I tell you the truth, I need God to use your love. And I'm not good here. Now, I am forced to move forward in this case. It's, it's almost like I had a chance of meeting you in the afternoon and see each other for a while and, and build a relationship up. I'm forced in some sense. I'm forced now. So deeply down, I almost feel like saying, cry out and kill and need your help. I, I don't know how to get plan A to plan B. I, I know that my interest for you in some sense of motorcycles, I admit that. I admit in some sense asking for prayers and praying for me. Because a long time ago, a friend of mine, Brian, prayed for me for Chris to come back in my life, and I went him back because of a baby grant to find a way, and also a prayer partner praying for me. So that's why I came to you for help, because I was hoping this guy in California and so just moved down here, but now I'm off. I don't know. I had no idea of people I can talk to that in some sense, I like him and he likes me. I'm not in the communication with anyone. I, I got no idea. I need someone who's a clean freak to put a better personality in me, a role model. I need someone to support me and love me. I need someone to hold me and hug me. And I, and sometimes also, someone will allow my cat to, to live with him. You know, it's just, I gotta get out of this prison. And my brother is a poison. But also, I need a new, I need a new chain. I need to get my life back together. I, I also need to play some songs to you. I have a message from you from God. I had to call this operation for him. And I need to share with you. I need your love. I don't know how to get to A and B, but I also need your support, and I don't have it. I don't have a family. I have nothing here now. 
When it comes to Thanksgiving, Christmas had nothing. What I'm asking from you is your support and love. I'm begging you, and I don't want to feel like God is begging and saying, take him in. Allow me to use your love. So right now, I don't know if you were willing to say yes or no. And I just, I don't know. It's really difficult. I mean, will this guy in England come down here temporarily for a while to move down here? So I have the love, get my life back together, have support. And maybe, you know, think I had to talk about, you know, what if I have nothing here? Why well, we want to move back to England? I'd be willing to. I mean, heck, I got nothing here. I got no family. I know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not so close to my brother. And right now, I know that I'm part of paying the mortgage. But right now, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here right now. And I have to say my stepdad. He doesn't even think, know everything about what's going on in my life. He's not religious so much. So now I just, and it's difficult to person who I'm asking. You could say no and start to say no to God. So I need someone that is harder to God, that God will talk to him from my own words and voice. I hopefully maybe I can talk to him, call him and talk. But I tell you the truth. What I need is opportunity that I can see you face to face and talk to them. So I think about this guy in England. I need to see you. I need to talk to you. I need to have some personal time to get a talk in that case. I don't know about this guy in California, but I haven't been talking for a while. I don't know who I can really talk to. Most of my Facebook page of people who don't really care about me. But right now I got no idea. So I say to my friend in England, I don't know you, my friend or not. I don't know I can count on your help. I don't know I can trust you. But I need you. I'm thinking about what I gotta say. Yeah, I know there's a lot of unanswered questions. There'll be unknowing about things, but if we can, that could be past point and I think the most important is hearing, is now, in, why in some sense too, is I really want God, the business of God to start happening. I need your love. I need the Holy Spirit to be used by your love. I need to get down to business. I need the Holy Spirit to use your love. And I need you now. So I was thinking about this. It's not just me asking. It's God. And then God saying, can I use you? Can I use your love? Maybe you now some things can't be, be taken care of, but things were better in my life, I'm more well. When I had the love I needed, maybe in some sense I can make it up. Maybe I can do favors for you. I got no idea. I don't know how to get to A to B. How can I get your help? How can I get your love? I don't know. I do know that I may need you to come down here. And this is a mercy. I need to talk to you. I need to convince you. I... I don't know. I think you're the kind of person like to go out and do things. I wish my friend in Canada would come down here and... we could get a move in. But I don't know. I, I mean, God has rejected him. He's rejected God in some sense. I don't really care about that anymore. But I need your help. I don't remember your name, but the name's not really important. I just thinking about yeah, I mean some things you can do for me to teach me German <laughs> language. Someday I may be traveling with you to England. I mean not England but Germany. Country to country, sorry. And so to teach me about new things, language and sites. I don't know everything else. Difficult to really say everything. I don't know if you've been called in my life. I know everything. But I feel like your precious pressure me that I didn't really have plans so soon begging for me to ruin the peace. 
I've been fighting him since so he's so far away. I don't think it'd be a good idea. I really want someone local. But I've been opening up to you. Yeah, I've been kind of wanting you to pray for me. But I think his son says maybe God wanted you to be the one. So I don't know what to say. My brother doesn't know about what's going on. My stepdad, I mean, who else to say? Uh, yeah, I did call uh, uh, Williams about this, but uh, I can't count on him to help me out. I really want to have someone that I really feel can help me out. And I guess in some sense right now, I, I don't know that someone will, someone will be interested in me in day gating. Maybe I can beg and I can move in. Maybe I can beg to say, can I see you? I don't know. I don't have too much resources. Except for, I don't know. I don't even know I have enough money. I, I tell you the truth. I almost feel like begging. Please come down here. Give me a chance to be with you. Please give me a chance to love you. Please allow, allow God to talk to me for you. Allow God to talk to you for my words and my body language. And maybe you hear God and what I say and say yes to God. I mean, not say yes to me, but saying yes to God. I'll help him. I'll be the vessel for you. I don't know. Forgive me. I said some things that were frustrating to my stepdad. I don't know. I just... I just hope my mom will see. I, I, I hope someday my mom will see that I got this new roommate. Getting my life back together. He's helping me out. Being my support. I just don't have any support now. That he goes, he goes to see my doctor, and I tell my doctor I have my support now. I have. There's a lot of things I I can't really discuss, but I think I can hold off to the time that I see him. Maybe agreement to moving together. But um, I don't want to say. Thank you for your time. I need a miracle. I need a new place to live. I need a boyfriend. I need to start a new life. I need I need to let go of the past and move forward. Someone take my call. Someone says yes to me. Allow me to move in and finish get out of here. Move my stuff out. I don't know. Thank you for your time. Bye.